So today what we have here to overvolt is a pencil sharpener motor. I got this out of an old pencil sharpener and right in front of you is on my DC power supply that I made out of an old computer power supply. So that's ground, that's 3 volts, 6 volts, and 12 volts. So the motor runs normally. If I can get it doing here. The motor runs normally off 3 volts. As you can see there, on 6 volts it goes a bit faster. Let me adjust the camera. But on 12 volts, this motor outright screams. Oh. So you can tell it's kind of loud. So what I'm going to do real quick is wire this motor up to 12 volts and see what happens. Okay, I have the motor wired in. So we're going to see what happens. Oh, well, that escalated quickly. Maybe that'll work better. It does have a bit of issues falling over. There we go. <laughs> Nothing crazy happened so far. Surprising that it's not making much heat. Something's just not adding up here. Well, maybe it was hot. But something was keeping it cool while it was running. Hmm. We we'll need to hook it up to a higher voltage. If I can find a higher voltage. Well, I couldn't find a higher voltage, so we're going to give it an execution with some putting AC to it, if you know what I mean it would focus there it goes um and uh nikola tesla did wish me some good luck i guess when i was wiring it up it gave me a nice little shock of 120 volts alternating current that doesn't feel good i had it before it hurts 
So anyways, we're going to go ahead and give this motor some um, execution style current because this is truly death to a direct current motor. I hope something doesn't blow up. Ooh. Well, I guess that was a nice little finale to this episode. See you guys later.